name is Raven John Palacio and I am here to teach you uh, how to create your own Kurva app. So now for me I will I will build now an exponent calculator using Kurva app. So let's start. So first we we will create a new folder and you can name it as you want. So we will create new files to the folder which is the two java files the server and the client and also the idl file so we will edit our ecal idl file so we will name our app exponent calculator app interface calc long long because our uh, desired function returns an int so we're gonna use long long uh, calculate exponent in long base in long exponent and we edit this plus plus oh so there's public class ecog server and public class ecog client so we're gonna run it in cmd so cmd So we're gonna copy the directory and change the directory in the CMD. So here we are in the Corba Exponent Calculator. So type idlj dash fall and your ideal file name. Yeah. So and a folder was created which is our module name exponent calculator app so there are the ecalc stub calc the java calc helper calc holder uh, calc operations and calc poa so we we will We will edit our server side. So now we will put our imports. Purpose of this imports is to connect the server class into the other classes or in the ideal file. So now we create a class which is the calc implement or MP IMPL which extends the eCalc POA that created by from our IDL so we declared a pri private orb or to connect the orb to our server we created a function set orb to, to set our orb value and Next is the method calcul calculate x, which sets our desired function or method for the exponent calculator, and we use mat.pow from the from Java 
predefined method to get the answer. Inside the static void main, these are the important lines in creating our server. So you can copy this and edit the class names or the other variable that may vary in your program. Okay, so now we're gonna configure our client side or the client class. So we'll copy the its imports. We will create a constructor for our eCal client class and that throws IO exception and number four so format exception which has a buffer reader which reads our inputs and calculate it through our met method used and it will give the answer as it loops while the user is still using the application so if the user will will choose to then the application will shut down so inside the static void main in our client we initialize the orb again and then like the server side we initialize the org.omg that corva omg means object management group which handles the our objects and then we resolve the object reference and naming the string name the ecal is the string is ecal <coughs> since it is the name of our idl and then ecalc implementation equals ecalc helper which was created by our IDL so we call or instantiate the ecalc client constructor in the main or static void main then it will run so now we're gonna go back to our um, CMD So, uh, a while ago we type idlj poll ecalc.idl which creates the exponent calculator app folder. So now we will type all the Java calls the e uh, client in the server Java files and the exponent calculator app folder calls the all Java files in the folder so now we will enter this so compiled successfully exponent and the class was created and the calc imp implementation class was created also so we are now set so orb database or orb.db was created so, we will open another CMD window for our server. So, we will copy again the directory. CD exponent calculator. So, type Java, the name of our server, server, or initial port 1050 okay so the server is ready and waiting so we'll open another window for our client so again 
change directory and java e cal client or finish so now the uh, our application runs so this is our application this is an exponent calculator using Corba successfully so input the base number we'll try this 2 and the exponent is 2 so the answer is 4 if the user wants to continue then press 1 if no then press 2 so we'll continue 1 so it will it will look input base number 5 exponent 3 so the answer is 125 so if you do not want to continue so press 2 shutting down thank you that's all i hope you you got the idea of how to create your own corba application thank you